What's up, powerful people? My name is Eli, a.k.a. Super Kid, a.k.a. Clint Swift, a.k.a. The Man in the Zebra Print Headband, a.k.a. Mama, there goes that man in the zebra print headband. Shout out to Mark Jackson, and I am here to welcome you to episode... Eight? Is this episode eight? Of the Pokemon Ultra Sun randomized chain monologue power people you're gonna have to let me know in the comments i think it's number eight but i might be wrong about that in any event whatever number episode this is smash the like button powerful people uh subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon and as always leave any and all comments for me in the comment section below powerful people including what episode number is this even though i definitely know by now i still want to hear from you uh today powerful people we are going to go look for lily after uh we got the the uh, instructional cutscene on how to use z moves speaking of which um anybody anybody i feel like giving this to i will give this to what moves does ralph even have what moves do you have ralph Let's get a quick team recap, powerful people. How do you feel about that? First off, we got Ralph, the Totodile. Um, I don't actually want to give it to you. Bite, Brick Break, Water Gun, and Rage. Next up, we got Zip, the Slowbro with Curse, Yawn, Water Gun, and Confusion. Next up, we got Kaylee, the Latias with Dragon Breath, Safeguard, Stored Power, and Refresh. And then finally... We have Sunny, the Espeon, with Helping Hand, Quick Attack, Baby Doll Eyes, and Sand Attack. I think you win. Sunny, you're the only one with a damaging normal type move. So, let's give that to Sunny. And, uh, speak no more of it for the time being. Awesome. There you go, Sunny. Way to go. Way to go, champ. All right, now we gotta go to Route 3. Let's do this. Now, I know I just checked on my Pokemon, but are they all healed up? Yes. Okay. And we're on Route 3 now, right? Island Challenge Marker. I know I just walked through that gate, but I gotta check it. Route 2, this is a, this is a Nuzlocke after all powerful people. Route 3. Heck yeah. Let's see if we can find an encounter. I don't want to fight you, dude. Not yet. First, I want to see if I can get an encounter here on Route 3. Dragon Psychic or Water, please? Ooh, Wild Pelipper. Excellent. That would be great. I would love a Pelipper. Get a Flying type. Got the Drizzle up in her. It's perfect. He's, she's perfect. Uh, look at her vertical slit pupils. Love it. Um... Let's go out to Zip. Yeah. And we're gonna yawn ya. We're gonna yawn ya. And then we're gonna try to get ya. Uh, Supersonic doesn't have any effect on Zip because Zip has a tempo all his own. Am I right, powerful people? That's what I saw. Is that what you saw? That's Clown's trying to water gun me, dude. Do you know who you're dealing with? This is Zip. A slow bro? Perhaps you've heard of him? Perhaps not, though. Apparently not. Apparently you don't know who it is you're dealing with. Let's try a water gun. Yep. Again, bro. Your supersonic is ineffective on me. It's got absolutely no effect. Because I have a tempo all my own. I think I already went over this, sir. Madam. Ma'am. Pelipper! <laughs> Zip used water gun. Excellent. Let's go... With one of the great balls that Ilma gave me. Yes, I think that would be a fine idea. Yes. Yes. Aw, oh, doggone it. Come on now. Come on, Pelipper. Be a sport. Seriously. Ooh, look at how beautiful the the evening sky looks tonight. This evening, I should say. <laughs> Come on, Pelipper. You know you want to be part of the squadron. You know it. Now you're part of the squadron. We got you. 
Heck yeah. Then Zip gained some number of experience points. Ralph grew to level 18. You know what that means. It means Ralphie boy is about to evolve. What? Ralph is evolving? You're darn right he is. Look at this. Look at this wonderful display of... Actually, that was pretty cool. Ooh, I like the uh, palette swap there. Look at... Congratulations, Ralph evolved into Croconaw! I love Croconaw. He's like so... Uh, he's like so Flintstones-ish. You know what I'm saying, powerful people? Reminds me of the Flintstones. Pelipper's data will be added to the Pokedex. The Pokedex. Now we can catch flying types. Heck yeah. That's awesome. Um... The water bird Pokemon, it's it places small Pokemon into its spacious beak and carries them around. No one knows where it's taking them. Even the Pelipper? Yes, we'll give you a nickname. How about... Uh, Gertrude. Gertrude seems like a good name for a Pelipper. Good sturdy name. Gertrude. There we go. I don't know if that's how you really spell Gertrude, but it's how I spelled it. And, uh, I really wouldn't have it any other way, to be honest with you. Now, let's take a look. Gertrude is asleep and has seen better days, uh, health-wise. Let's, let's head back over to the, uh, ooh, oh, oh. What will this be? Ooh, that would have been cooler. <laughs> that would have been cooler to get. Hoopa is dark and psychic, right? I'm not sure. Um. Hmm. I'll try water gun. I'm not sure what type is Hoopa. Goes for confusion. Hmm. Let's try bite. Oh yeah, that looks good. The wild Hoopa fainted. That would have been cool to catch Hoopa. I would have liked that. Zip grew to level 16. Heck yeah. Okay. Uh, let's... Ooh, we sneak past him again. Wow. Oh my. Solid snake over here? Solid snake feathers? Uh, did you laugh? Because I laughed. What do we got? What do we got here? Ooh! A Pokemon is feeding on berry. There was a Pokemon feeding on the berries and it leaped out at you! This is a static encounter, but I don't know... Ooh. Well, it does not even a legal encounter for us, so... Doesn't even matter! Normal type. It would be cool to catch an Eevee, since we have Espeon. Uh, but never fear. We shall break, break! Uh, there you go. Love to see it. You'll love to see it. You really do. Uh, down goes the Eevee. You obtained a citrus berry. Whoa, and a chesto berry. Whoa. Mm. I had to drink some water. Mm. Even more water. No more berries. Finally, the end of that endless pile of berries. Thank goodness. I was worried. Malmar. Um, Malmar had the weirdest voice in the anime. Just putting that out there. Just floating that out there. I'm gonna go ahead and run away. Don't want to deal with a Malmar right now. Just gonna head around this corner here. Head into this little. Uh, Pokemon Center. Don't know how I spaced on that, but you know, <laughs> people sometimes that happens. We have five members on our squadron, and I couldn't be more pleased with it, to be honest with you. Well, I mean, I could, I, I'd be more pleased with six, but you couldn't pick five better Pokemon to get. I guess you probably could do that too, but I don't care. I like them just the same. Uh, 
What are you doing, dude? <laughs> yeah, see ya. Let's head around here. Wow, we avoided her too? This is incredible. Who am I? <laughs> Let's go in here. Maybe Lily's in here. Mellow Mellow Meadow. This will be another encounter. Hey, that is Lily. Hey, you are Lily. <laughs> Nebby, come back. Ah, Clint Swift. Nebby, got out of my bag again. I know it. Darn Nebby. So cute, though. Yeah, but he's so cute, though. Uh, <laughs> but why would it want to go in that cave? I don't know. Don't you hang out with that all the time? Wouldn't you have a better idea? Maybe of, uh, the inner machinations of Nebby's mind? Good grief, we found a great ball. But what do you expect there to be contained within it? The knowledge of Nebby's soul that you seek? If you want to train your Pokemon, you're going to want to use Roto Experience Points. I'll be at your service. All right. Thanks, dude. Um, let me know, powerful people. I obviously had no control over that, but... If you have a problem with me using the Roto po uh, powers, I, I don't have to. They're like a legitimate part of the game, though, so I don't know. We'll see. See what you say. Lick a tongue! Not a legal encounter, but a cool mod. Cool mod nonetheless. Um, let's go for a brick break. Brick break. <laughs> Whack! That was super effective. Heck yeah! Sunny grew to level 15. Gertrude grew to level 12. Gertrude wants to learn to move Mist. Mist is actually a pretty good move. I'm going to get rid of Water Support. <laughs> yeah. Mist is cool. All right. Okal Dokal. Uh, so far, no luck on the encounters. Oh, I'll get that Pokeball. I can grab that at least, right? A netball. Awesome. That's cool. Uh, trainer. What do you want, dude? My girlfriend always disappears somewhere. Maybe she's the type who can't help wandering off when she spots something interesting. That's kind of what I'm... That's kind of the type of person I am in this game, at least. Not in real life so much. Uh, but in this game, for sure. Motham. Hmm. Is Motham... I mean, I think it is. It's flying, right? It must be. It's gotta be. I, I, it must be, right? Let's see. Let's go ahead. And switch to Zip. And we'll go ahead and yawn ya. We'll try to catch this bad boy. Pretty, pretty much positive that this is a flying type Pokemon. It goes for Protect. Come on, bruh. You don't want to do that. Oh, I guess you really do, huh? All right. Okay, Motham. Moth, moth him. Get it? Him? And then worm madame? Madam? <laughs> Yuck. Got it. Probably everybody already got that. But you never know. Let's go for a Confusion. Tackle me to your heart's content, sir. I don't even care anymore. Ooh, look at that. Look at him slumbering over there. Slumbering soundly. Hey, this is more effective on bug types. Let's try it out. Get to immediately use it. What do you say? What do you know? What do you say? What do you know? Look at that. Look at that. And just like that, there were six. I think... <laughs> Unless I find out that Motham is not legal. In which case, I will be sad. Give Motham a nickname. Yeah! Um... How about... Martin... The Moth. Martin... Martin... Moth. That time I actually did mean to capitalize that. So there you go. Martin Moth has been added to my party. 
Let's check Martin Moth out, shall we? He's certainly asleep. He's got Sableye Knight on him. Bug flying. There you go. Quiver dance. Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's great. That's real great. Um, let's take the Mega Stone. That's also great. Thank you, sir. And, uh, do I have anything to awaken you? Yells. Yells. Now, perhaps, this. Yes, yes. And, uh, don't I have the silver powder? Yes, I do. How about you hold on to that for me, Martin Moth? Thank you. I love the name Martin Moth. I'm loving it more and more. Uh, so that's pretty exciting. Let's go ahead and give a, give a quick save to our game. Martin Moth, everybody. What do you say? What do you know? Pretty, uh, pretty stoked to have you on the squadron. That's what I say and no. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What do we got here? Crabominable. This guy is pretty sweet. He's so derpy looking, but I love him. I just love this crazy character. Um, <laughs> He's ice and fighting, right? So Brick Break should hurt him pretty bad. Brick Break should uh, mess him up pretty good, yeah? There we go. Here we go. Yeah, that's pretty much what I expected. Gertrude grew to level 13. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Poison Barb. That's cool. What are you up to up here? Oh, hello there. You're a Pokemon trainer, aren't you? I have a request to ask of a trainer. Would you mind having a battle with me? Sure, I could battle you. Yeah. Oh, that's wonderful to hear. My name is Meredith. I'm an aspiring actress, you see. I'm... I've been imitating the various styles of Oricorio to work on portraying different characters. So if you don't mind, I'll... Uh, my little demonstration. <clears throat> ah. This one's got the electric one? Or no, you're going to have a random Pokemon. Duh. It's randomized. What am I? Some kind of fool? Weeping Bell. Okay. I can dig that. Um... I think I'm going to go to Kaylee. In fact, I'm sure of it. Come on back, Ralph. Let's send Kaylee in there. And resist a... Oh, you go for a wrap. What do you think this is? Gen 1, dog? What do you think this is, dog? Gen 1? Come on now. Come on, y'all. Okay. Not bad. That's a respectable move. It's fine. I'll go for a safeguard, because I know you've got all sorts of silly tricks up your sleeve. Weeping Bill. Vine Whip. Resisted. Get out of here. Get on out of here. With that. Let's go for stored power. Stored power. Super effective. It's super effective! Look at that. Called that, right? Am I right? Am I right, Pop? Uh. Ooh. Zip grew to level 17. I'm Martin Moth grew to level 12. What's up, Martin Moth? <laughs> Martin Moth, man. I'm loving him. I'm loving him so far. That was my pom-pom style performance demonstrated in battle. Cool. I'm glad. I'm glad to have helped, like, to see that and to uh, help you practice or whatever. Alola. I don't even get nothing for that. Darn it. Ah, oh, darn it. Um, let's go ahead and give a nice little potioning. The potioning ending. Um, yes, there we are. Excellent. Excellent. Let's continue on through Mele Mele Meadow. Oh, what's up, dude? What is this? A little mirror match action? Mirror match action? <laughs> Are you trying to mirror match action? Is that what you're doing right now, dude? <laughs> uh, does that make any sense? No. No, it doesn't. Nope. Wasn't supposed to. Doesn't. Doesn't at all. 
Crocodile used rage. This guy is filled with rage! <clears throat> I'm gonna breathe on her. Crocodile. Painted! Nice. Sunny grew level 16. That's what I'm talking about, Sunny. Way to go. Okay. Over. Oh, I was gonna say over oh, yeah. here, but I didn't even get it out before we got another. Got into another fight. Finneon, so cute. Never really used it. Never used this line. Uh, if you have powerful people, let me know. Let me know in the comments. What's your favorite like really obscure Pokemon that like? gets, like, very little love. I would say mine is probably... I mean, uh, my favorite Pokemon is a Ranguru, which I've never heard anybody else say that that's their favorite Pokemon. But I also really like Sawsbuck, and I feel like Sawsbuck gets very little love. Way less than it deserves. So. Shout out to you, Sawsbuck. You're cool. Ralph grew to level 20! Heck yeah, dude. 10 away from a alligator. Oh, are you the girlfriend of the... He, he, he's looking for me. It makes me so happy to see him search for me. It's proof of how much he loves me. Keep looking for me, baby. All right. Wish you would have rewarded me for finding you in some way, but that's fine. All right, Lily. Let's see. Do I need to heal anyone? No. I guess not. Um. Itch there. Pardon me. Now, to get Nebby... And put an end to all this foolishness. Wormpool! Glad I didn't end up with a Wormpool, even though I couldn't right now. But, you know, who's to say how things could have gone if it had been different? I could get a Wormpool now, actually, now that I have Motham. Martin Moth. Um... <laughs> I'm probably going to call this episode, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Martin Moth. Um, and I hope everybody is pleased with that, as pleased as I am to bring it to you, to share it with you. Gertrude grew level 14 and Martin Moth grew level 13, the star of the show. He's the star of the show. Rotom's power effect wore off. Oh, I forgot all about that. Thanks, Rotom. That was helpful. Another Finneon. Hey, wow! Hey, wow! Hey, Finneon, wow! <laughs> Bite. That's the move I'll use. Oh, you flinched, did you? Finneon called for help! Oh, but it didn't appear. That's sad. That sky looked blood red. Alola certainly has spectacular sunsets, powerful people. Alright. Book to your destination today. The Alola Travel Agency has brought this episode to you. I wish I was sponsored by a fictional... <laughs> a fictional entity. Seaward Cavern. This is a new encounter in here. Let me just double check to make sure. Mele Mele Meadow. Seaward Cave. Okay. That's fine. It's still, still different. Ooh! Frostless. This is Ghost and Ice. Which is not legal for me. It's just isn't gonna work for me. Um, I'll go for bite though. Double team. Double team, huh? Seems unnecessary. Down goes frostless. Okay. Well done, Ralph. Well done. Oh, Nebby. <laughs> there you are. Pew! Uh, <laughs> running around like this sure is tiring. It's Zossie. Hello. Calm yourself, Zossie. This is only one thing. There is only one thing we are here to confirm. We must find someone strong enough to protect the blinding one. Blinding one. Let us see if you might be the one. We have to fight, dude? We have to fight in order to show you that? Alright. Oh, gosh. 
Oh gosh. I'm afraid of this fight all of a sudden. I don't like it one bit. Um, let's go for water gun. Quick attack. Okay. Not bad. Let's see. I will bring Gertrude out. Set up the rain. Set that rain up, Gertrude. Thank you. Drizzle all over this fight. Foresight? Come on now. You don't gotta be doing that. I'm just kidding. That's totally a waste of your move. Um. Now I will wing attack you. Double team? Come on, bruh. Come on. Come on. You don't need to do that. Oh, there you go. There you go, Gertrude. Um. Yeah. Another wing attack ought to do it. Quick attack. At least we didn't have to deal with any silliness of with the evasion there. From the double team. Okay, one down. Five to go. Oh, this is nerve-wracking. Amistar! Will I switch my Pokemon? Yes. Um... Who do I actually want to use for this? Oh, Ralph. Of course. He's the old Brick Break! On the Lord Helix himself. What's up, Amistar? How you doing? How you living, dog? Let's go for a Brick Break on you. Used withdraw. Okay. That's fine. That'd be just fine. Super effective. Just as I thought it would be. Water gun. It is boosted by the rain, but... It is resisted by Ralph. It's boosted by the rain, but it's resisted by the Ralph. Uh, the rain stopped. Okay. So if he does it again, it should do really like nothing. Ooh, he has swift swim. Cool. I think. I mean, I think that's why I outspeed him now. Uh, Kaylee grew level 24. Outstanding. Wants to learn Mist Ball. Heck yeah. Um, what is this guy? 70 power. Uh, also may lower special attack. Yeah, I like that. I'm going to get rid of stored power for that. Uh, Gertrude grew to level 15. And wants to learn Water Pulse. Awesome. <clears throat> I will forget Water Gun for Water Pulse. Because it can confuse. Which would be great. Martin Moth grew to level 14. Dewpider. Will I switch my Pokemon? Um, What do I want to use on you? Oh yeah, I'll use Gertrude. Wing Attack. Wing Attack, baby! Dewpider, I'm pretty sure is the cutest bug ever. Oh, shiny Dewpider looking real cool. Dang, that thing looks tight. I like that. Look how chill Dulce is over there. It's kind of unsettling, honestly. Use that wing attack, baby. Bam, super effective. Bubble, come on, bruh. Wow, that did a shocking amount. That did 8 damage. I mean, it is boosted, but it's resisted, right? Right? Am I wrong about that? Fur <laughs> it! Uh, yeah, I'll go back to Ralph. Get you with that brick break, son. Brick break! <laughs> I don't want to go too crazy with the B sound on the microphone, because... Another shiny? Oh, it's so beautiful. This guy would have won if this was a versus. He's got shiny fur. Foresight? Come on! You don't need to be using that move. Just wasting a move, dude. I mean, really? Really, really, really? Okay, Ralph grew to level 21. What is good? Oh man, look at that attack stat. Pretty good. Wants to learn Ice Fang! Heck yes! Heck yeah, we're getting rid of rage, baby. We are learning that Ice Fang. Nice coverage move. 
Heck yeah. And zip girl level 18. That's what I'm talking about. Sunny to 17. Sunny wants to learn the move Swift. Excellent. Yes. I will get rid of Helping Hand. Sunny learns Swift. Oshawott. So cute. We're getting good luck on this one. Hopefully he doesn't have freaking Yveltal at the end. Um, what do I want to use against Oshawott? I guess Ralph's fine. So cute. For my money, Oshawott is probably the cutest Pokemon of all. Let me know in the comments, Power People, who do, who do you think is the cutest of all the Pokemon? Flinched and couldn't move. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. One more. Only one remains. The rain stopped again. Blissey. Ooh. Uh. Nah. I'm good. I'm just gonna brick break Blissey to death. Let's go for a brick break. Go for a nice, powerful brick break. Ooh, doggy. Blissey done fainted. And Ralph leveled up off of that. I figured that would happen. Blissey gives so much experience. Gertrude grew to level 16. Martin Moth grew to level 15. And I defeated Dulce. I don't understand. The timer's about to go off, powerful people. Do I have to fight Zossie as well? Zossie! Um, timer's about to go off. I'm going to cancel it. Uh-huh. So, Dulce, what are we going to do? Trainer, you should know that this one here warps away if it is threatened in any way, and the holes that are torn open as a result invite dangerous beings into this world. But perhaps things will be alright as long as there are trainers like you in Alola. I hope so. What about that girl, though? That girl should have nothing to do with our investigations, nor this Pokemon of hers, as long as no one is foolish enough to open a path that could lead there, lead here from Megalo Tower. Let us carry on, Zosser. <laughs> Weird wave thing. See you guys. All right. Nebby. Pew. Pew. Are we back? Did we get... Yeah. Look who's back. Oh, you. Pew? <laughs> thank you, Clint Swift. You're welcome. And I should thank Croconaw, too. Here, let me at least do this. Sounds good. Sounds good. You know, I read something interesting in a book once. It seems that Pokemon called Oricorio... Seems the Pokemon called Oriokoro changes its appearance by feeding on the nectar from different types of flowers. It's not actually evolving, but undergoing so a so-called form change. Isn't that interesting? I thought it was anyway. I agree, that is interesting. Pew! Get in the bag, Nebby. <laughs> That's awesome. Um Alright. Now what? What awaits us out here? Hey, Clint Swift. Oh, and Lily's with you too. What are you up to, Hal? Just finished up my trial. <laughs> hey, Clint Swift. I want to see if I really learned anything from my trial. Let me battle you again. Okay. Wow. Bonus battle here at the end, powerful people. Oh. Two of these in a row? Oh my god. Fracture. Okay, well, I'm glad Lily healed my Pokemon up, and I'm also glad that I got, uh, Ice Fang. I'm very glad, actually. Let's try that out. Oh, he's only level 13. Okay, I'm not too worried, actually, now. Don't want to speak too soon, but I'm feeling okay. I'm feeling okay. Wobbuffet. Oh, my God. Um... Hmm. What do I want to do? I'll go to Zip. <sighs> Why does it have to be Wobbuffet? Well, it's level 11. Let's go for a yawn. 
Mirror coat. Okay. Um. I guess I'll go for confusion since it'll do the least amount of damage to you. Good. Now he does safeguard. Dang it. Is that going to stop you from falling asleep? Oh. Apparently not. Excellent. Excellent. Now I'm just going to slow play this. <sighs> Wobbuffet is fast asleep. I'm just going to keep going for confusion, powerful people. If I do get mirror coded, I at least want it to do as little as possible. Still asleep. This is going pretty well. Pretty well. Zip uses confusion. Excellent. Wobbuffet woke up and used mirror coat. Oh yeah, we're good. Now let's go for another confusion. Either we get a crit and take him out, or it doesn't matter. Excellent. Excellent. Zip leveled up. To 19. Wants to learn the move Disable. Uh, no, I'm good. I'm good without that. Um, Sunny Grew to level 18. Martin Moth Grew to level 16. Uh, and then I'm no longer... Ooh, Tyranitar. Yes, I will switch to Gertrude. <clears throat> Excuse me, set that rain up. Bring, uh, Croconine. in. Or Ralph, I should say. Tyranitar has Unnerve also. Gertrude has Drizzle! What do you think of that, sir? Um... Ralph? Have fun, Ralph. I think you should eat this guy up with a brick break. A sandstorm? Okay, that's kind of annoying, but... I guess I can't really do anything about it, can I? And try to take you down with a brick break? Oh, you're only level 12, dude. You're dead. <laughs> See ya. That's what we call quad effective. Gertrude go to level 17. That's what I'm talking about. Ralph is buffeted by the sandstorm. That's not what I'm talking about. Mianpu! Will I switch my Pokemon? Yeah, I will. I'm gonna switch back to Gertrude, actually. Because I'll get the rain up, and I'm flying type. And you're fighting. I can't believe we had to do a six Pokemon battle right at the end of the at the end of the episode. Like after the timer was over. <laughs> this is this is quite an episode. Uh doubling up here at the end. Hopefully all goes well. Let's go for a wing attack. I mean, his his team is way under-leveled compared to mine. Um, which is cool with me. Spiel! Heck yes! Uh, hmm. I guess I'll just stay in. I guess. Go for a wing attack. Why not? He uses Water Gun. It's boosted by the rain. Oh, that did, like, nothing. I wonder what my Water Pulse will do to him. Maybe we can get a Confusion. That'd be cool. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. It was not very effective, but that did pretty good. Alright. Let's go for another Water Pulse. I was like, hopefully this dude does not heal. And he didn't. So that's good. Um, Gertrude gained 99 EXP points. Phoebus. This dude's team is like a lot of water on it. Um, will I switch my Pokemon? Yes. I think Martin Moth can take on Phoebus. Be a nice opportunity to test him out in battle. Let's go, Martin Moth, the star of the show. Oh! <laughs> Shiny Phoebus, that's cool looking. I like that. Um, Quiver Dance. I like that even better. <laughs> Goes for Splash. That's hilarious. 
All right, I guess I'm probably good. I'll go for Bug Bite then. Excellent. Down goes Phoebus. Martin Moth gained 73 experience points, and we defeated Pokemon Trainer Howe. Heck yeah, that battle was a lot better than the one against Ilma. <laughs> All right. So, you and me both beat that totem Pokemon, huh, Clint Swift? Looks like we're getting pretty strong. And I'm not stopping now. I'm going to use this momentum to beat my old Gramps, too. Hey there, Clint Swift. I knew I could count on you. Yeah. Thanks for tracking down Lily for me. You're welcome, cousin. What? What's this, then? How? You finished your first trial, too? I bet you used some styling moves, yeah? <laughs> yeah, all thanks to Rowlet. Hollis probably rubbing his hands together in glee right about now. Oh, yeah. What do you mean? It's all part of the trials, yeah? After you clear one island's trials, you gotta battle the island's kahuna. Taking on the island kahuna in battle is called the Grand Trial. For someone like me who's been re who's researching Pokemon moves, nothing could be better than the chance to see some more, some more fierce Pokemon battles. Woo! Woo, cousin. I don't know about fierce. I'll be the judge of that. Come on, back to Iki Town, catch that Tailwind, and blast through Route 3. Alright, that is what we will do in the next episode, Powerful People! In today's, we had quite, quite an episode. Very pleased, very pleased. If you're excited, if you liked that episode, smash the like button, Powerful People. I assume you liked it since you made it all the way to the end of the video. And it was extra long, too. So, Powerful People, next episode we will finish off... Uh, Mele Mele Island, hopefully, take on Kahuna Hala. Uh, but today, I gotta go. So, real quick, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon, leave me in all comments you have in the comment section below, powerful people, I'd love to hear from you. And real quick, before I get going, I just want to remind everybody listening that we are powerful people. We have the ability to affect other people in ways that we don't even know sometimes. Uh... And I think the best way to use that power is to uh, be patient and generous and kind with other people. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm kind of reminding you and myself to do right now. So I hope that you'll take that advice. I'm definitely going to try to remember that. So on behalf of everybody here at Snake Feathers, my name is Eli, a.k.a. Super Kid, a.k.a. Clint Swift, a.k.a. The Man in Zebra Print Headband, a.k.a. Mama There Goes That Man in Zebra Print Headband. Shout out to Mark Jackson saying thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, peace, and love. <laughs>